Hi, this is Ajmal Rafi welcoming you to this new video where I'm going to talk about how you can get your first job on Upwork as a beginner. So this is a common problem. New people are applying on jobs but they are not getting responses from clients and in this video I have got few tips to share with you which will improve your situation to get new clients on Upwork or any other freelance platforms. Okay, so let's begin with the initial part which is having a nice beautiful organized Upwork profile and to organize your profile nicely or to make it attractive first of all you have to be careful about adding a beautiful picture on your Upwork profile okay which has a smiley and smart looking face all right and the second part you have to be careful about is your title section this is the most important part of your Upwork profile because client has to get some idea about the skills you have or the services you are providing from these two or three words okay so please be careful about adding actionable or eye-catching title on your upward profile and the third option that you have to be creative is your overview section where you have to demonstrate the services that you are going to provide and the skill sets and the experience level you have all right so this is the mostly viewed section of a Upwork profile by client, okay? So you have to be very careful about your grammatical issues or grammatical section and you have to provide the information uh, professionally, all right? And then you have to add the skill sets that uh, matching your uh, service that you are going to provide on Upwork. You will have the options uh, while you are uh, organizing or while you are creating your upper profile right and then you have to add your job experiences and here we are on the other important part which is adding portfolios on your upward profile okay so I know you are a beginner as you are watching this video but you must have to have some skills to show your clients to convince them to hire you all right so make some researches on upper platform or any other freelance platforms to see what are the relevant jobs clients are posting okay and try to make some works so try try to work on these as an example and add them to your upper profile as portfolio which will help you a lot to get your client convinced okay and the other important part which is taking skill tests on upper because it will show the clients that you are ready to get started with them and you will be able to provide them quality results okay so first of all I would suggest you to take the Upwork readiness test which is very important for your Upwork journey and then try to give at least one English language skill related test okay and then if you have and then it will be helpful if you take the other test which is relevant to your skills okay so this was my tips about organizing your profile properly on Upwork okay so now you have a well organized eye catching and attractive Upwork profile and oh. it's time to find the targeted job you are going to uh, you are going to apply on okay so in this case first of all you have to be careful about one important thing to see which is please verify the client if the client has a verified uh, payment method added okay and then open the job post read the job post or job overview very carefully to see what are the skills required for the job and what are the key points the client is looking for and the most important part do you have the skills that this task needed to be done if not please consider leaving the job post and finding the other one and if all the skills matches and if you are confident enough that you are going to be able to provide a great result uh, if you get hired on this project then please proceed on the next step okay so now you have found a job post which is matching with your skills and you are confident about uh, your ability to provide great service to the client okay so you are about to uh, you are about to send the proposal and now i'm going to tell you what are the main facts that you should keep in your mind while you apply okay so first thing 
there are many clients actually most of the clients nowadays are using some keywords on their uh, job post to see how many freelancers are actually who are the freelancers who read their job post truly and find the keyword which could be uh, which could be apple they, they start uh, they, they add this part like this please add this then double quotation apple double quotation to your proposal to show me that you read this job thoroughly okay so the apple is your keyword add this keyword in the top of your cover letter okay so if you miss to add this keyword on the top of your cover letter you are going to be rejected even if you if you are writing the best cover letter okay so be careful in your job post if there are any keyword added by client to be started on your uh, proposal okay and the second part answering the question answering the screening question that is that are added to upwork as uh, upwork job post okay so you have to answer this question very politely and uh, and you have to put the answer which your client client requested to provide you okay so this could be if a client is uh, asking you like have you have you ever done any similar projects before okay so as you as you are a new v you haven't yet done them professionally i believe but if you have already done that's good but if you haven't done professionally on any freelance platform then it's kind of tricky in this case you have to write something like i although i am a newbie on upwork but i have done this type i have practiced these types of projects or these types of tasks previously and you have to add few examples here portfolio examples here by studying that please please check out these examples post that i have done previously okay so now you might going to ask me where you are, we are going to find these examples so well i have already mentioned that part previously that uh, check out some of the job post on upwork or any other freelance part platform say and try to make the jobs or do the jobs for yourself and add them as your portfolio okay so that's one way or the best way for a newbie okay always be honest while you apply on a job post please don't add i am an expert i am an expert on that i am an expert on uh, it okay these are not going to work always your work or always your uh, what you are what you are showing to your clients will work so be careful about that and i think that's pretty much it that i could uh, share with you in this video but I'm going to make another video with full overview of how you can get better results on Upwork proposals from Upwork proposals. Okay, so that's it for now. And if you have found this video helpful, please uh, like this video and let me know your opinion by commenting below. And if you have any questions, and please don't forget to share this video if you have found this video helpful for newbies and subscribe to my channel for new upcoming videos. Have good times. Thank you very much. Good luck.